folks being paid the least by these rich corporations are the same people being harassed and killed by the police. Black and brown people. I am proud to be a part of the movement that is fighting for change in Virginia and throughout the South. And I'm going to keep telling my story and organizing until we see a change. I have two little girls and I want them to grow up to be proud of who they are and where they come from. I hope you do well. Join us in this fight against injustice. My name is Derek Bill again and thank you. How many people are here to highlight the Confederate memorials on Monument Avenue? Nobody? <laughs> awesome. We win. <laughs> and the South lost. <laughs> Preservation Virginia welcomes the world to Richmond, Virginia for the UCI Road World Championships. We hope you take the opportunity to visit the incredible historic resources here. We especially encourage you to visit one of Virginia's most endangered historic places, Shaco Bottom, where you will see asphalt today was once the second largest slave trading center in the United States. Like Virginia's world-class archaeological sites of 1607 James Fort at historic Jamestown and Wirawokomoko, Powhatan's capital village, Shaco Bottom's archaeological resources, now buried, can enrich understanding of our shared history. Currently, Shaco Bottom has an uncertain future. Preservation Virginia, along with our partners, the National Trust for Historic Preservation, the Defenders for Freedom, Justice, and Equality, and others, encourage a collaborative, transparent approach to appropriately research, commemorate, and redevelop Shaco Bottom. As a national treasure and an international site of conscience, Shaco Bottom deserves the highest order of study, protection, and interpretation. We support the creation of a nine-acre Shaco Bottom Memorial Park, which would respect and preserve the site and honor the people and events that occurred there. Hi, my name is Camille Redney. I'm going to be reading a statement from national, the National Trust for Historic Preservation. As the UCI Road World Championships begins today in Richmond, the National Trust for Historic Preservation joins partners Preservation Virginia and the Defenders for Freedom, Justice, and Equality in calling for the thoughtful investigation and commemoration of Shaco Bottom's history. The following is a statement by Germanique Ulmer, Vice President for Public Affairs for the National Trust for Historic Preservation. There is renewed public debate across the country about how we understand and memorialize the painful legacy of slavery and Richmond's Shaco Bottom lies in the crosshairs of this important conversation. As the international cycling world's attention focuses on, the, on this historic southern city, its leaders should take a thoughtful look at this sacred site and plan for a future that respects its significance, not just to Richmond, but to the whole world. The reminders of the slave trade that lie beneath Shaco cannot be ignored. And though we agree that vacant lots and surface parking are not acceptable ways to mark its painful history, neither are a baseball stadium and a token museum at the Lumpkins Jail site. We urge Mayor Jones and all who care about Richmond and its place in our national story to throw out the baseball stadium proposal and instead support the community-generated plan to create a memorial pike park on nine acres of historically significant land in Shaco Bottom. This concept fully commemorates Shaco's slave history and provides space for education, reflection, and healing, while ushering in a pathway for Shaco Bottom to become a source of economic development and heritage tourism that benefits all Richmonders. Thank you, Thank you to all our speakers. Um, it's, it's not always an easy thing to do to stand up in front of a crowd um, and make these statements. So we really appreciate them stepping forward to do this. Um, that's the, that's the total, totality of our comments uh, that are prepared. If uh, anyone has any questions, we will take them now. And do you have any other uh, actions planned during the, this period, the nine-day period? Uh, we do not have any specific actions like this planned, but you, I think what you will see throughout the west of the race, and uh, particularly towards the end of the race, will be more and more signage like this. Um, truthful history heals, 
the uh, Protect Sacred Ground uh, hand fans. And it'll be, I think the focus on this will be some visibility uh, and as people participate with the race, uh, and then also the opportunity for people to learn more by following the hashtags and the websites that, are, that the information will provide. What are you hoping to accomplish? We are hoping to accomplish the initial goal that we stated in the press release, which was that we want the world to understand that not everyone in Richmond is okay with these monuments here, and that understanding the reason that they are here and understanding the reason why we would want them taken down or put into museums uh, is tied to the rest of the history of Richmond. That Richmond's history is expansive, it is rich, it is complicated, and it deserves to be understood. Yeah, I'm currently involved in a group called uh, Virginia Organizing, and they are currently in involved in a program called Dismantling Racism. So if anybody is interested in that project, just, just check out uh, virginiaorganizing.org. Can I say something about that? Because our next training session is going to be a uh, block. Yes! 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 Yes!